Hi right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out fishing with the old man today. We've got water like an absolute mill pond and hopefully there's some fish around. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! The almighty dinghy. <laughs> on the boat now guys and check that out the sea is like an absolute mill pond so we're going to start the engine get the rods ready and then we're out fishing baby <laughs> captain smash at the helm <laughs> we're just giving a little quick fuel up and we're on our merry way we're primarily after bream pollock and mackerel today but we could get bass or any other species as well. See how today goes, I'm looking forward to it. Could be a shoulder bass underneath there. See all the markings. It's either that or that's weed. But that looks like fish to me. juicy mackerel there. There you go. Lovely. Those would be good eating size, those ones. I don't think there's a lot there. Might be one or two fish. Haha, <laughs> loving it. Quite a way down that. I've got a cuckoo rat. Check this out, guys. Okay. We're gonna have to keep this one because it's got the bend. But look how pretty this fish is. Look how beautiful that is. That is one of the prettiest fish you're gonna see in the Channel Islands. Hands down, gorgeous fish they are. Now, as you can see, his eyeballs are blown up because we're in very deep water. So uh, this wouldn't survive if we put it back, so that's going to have to be pot bait now. But hey, it will still go to use. Well Good old cookie wrasse. I love how pretty these are. Big male in breeding colours. Awesome fish. The old man's on the scoreboard. That's a beauty as well, look at that one. Wood. That's a cracking mackerel. <laughs> Little mini tuna. I want some of that action. Yeah, it's only one of those, isn't it? Yeah. We're getting the fish like here, there, but um, they're not here in force yet. Fish on again, guys. It doesn't feel like a big fish, it's probably just one or two mackerel. <laughs> Still fun all the same as long as we're catching. Really good sized mackerel though, eh? Yeah. Some lovely sized mackerel. Can't beat that. Get off the hill. We're heading out to some deeper water now, guys. We've got a few mackerel. 
but uh, it's, it's very slow going at the moment. It's still early in the year, but um, hopefully we can find some more. Come on, having a right old blast out here today. It's lovely. Another fish on. <laughs> Come on, you beauty. What a beautiful day to be catching some fish. <laughs> Biggest mackerel of the day right there. That's a beauty. That one's a beauty for a nice old cook up, that's for sure. Hopefully we can get a few more of them. Hey. Oh, what you got there? Redemption now, I was winning for a little bit. Keep your fish away from my line. <laughs> There's that on the bottom. Yeah, all the way down actually. Oh yeah, she's coming up. Oh no, he's got three of them as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the old man outfished me there. Well, we're about even now, eh? We're about even, I'm not having this. Now, keep your rod away from mine. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to rub it in, eh? <laughs> I'm not letting him win that easy, guys. <laughs> Must be only one, it's really light. One big, one big one. Nice. because I think I'm losing now. <laughs> We're gonna head back in now, guys. 
It's an absolutely beautiful day. We've caught a few fish. I think the old man outfished me today. I was winning for a little bit, then he came back strong. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you in the kitchen, guys, and we'll uh, cook up a couple of mackerel. Yum. My dad's friend wants a couple of spider crabs, so we're gonna go to the store pot, and we're gonna quickly pull that up and get a couple for him, and we'll be back on land. What a beautiful day. Really enjoyed today. my dad's friends and then a few my family members too happy days and we got a few fish in here you know, some beautiful sized mackerel look at the size of some of them got the good old cookie wrasse we would have released that if, it, if its eyes didn't pop but hey ho we got a few small pollock there beautiful my dad's gonna have the pollock for tea i'm gonna i'm gonna take home a few mackerel and we're gonna cook those up Back in the kitchen now guys, we've got our delicious mackerel here, it's now two days later because I've been really busy and all I've done is when I first got them is I de-headed them and gutted them so they stay fresh in the fridge for a long time and all I've done is put some scores in there just for a nice even cook and to get all the, uh, in and to get all the ingredients to uh, go straight through the meat, yum. Got a few different ingredients for this today, we got some sea salt. Plenty of that straight over the top. Some black pepper. Beautiful. If you just turn them over, move them around a bit, and it starts coating them both sides. Just like so. You want that right in there. Then what we got is some chili flakes, which is chili explosion. This is great stuff, this. Easy to use, get that straight over the top, flip her over. I want this mackerel quite spicy, because I really do enjoy a bit of spice with fish. Especially mackerel, because it's got that really oily taste to it, so it tastes amazing. And we've got a smoked paprika. Get that over the top, get all that washed into it. Beautiful. And that is some well-seasoned mackerel. 
ready for the oven right there yum you could do this with the barbecue as well this would be amazing for the barbecue if you got a bag and made sort of a dry rub out of all of your ingredients and rubbed it into the fish and stuck it straight on the barbie it would taste amazing and what we got next here is a nice old dollop of guernsey butter don't need a huge amount of this just a few little slices on each one and this will just steam inside of this tin foil in the oven and cook it beautifully and as you can see well seasoned ready for the oven that's going to be absolutely delicious so all i'm going to do now is just wrap this up into sort of a little cocoon i almost forgot is the lemon i don't want a lot of lemon just a little bit just to add to the flavors there we go just one slice on each fish that'll give a nice little citrusy taste to it and just magnify it that little bit more baby Also, the reason I like to cook mackerel like this is there's no dishes involved. <laughs> I'm not a fan of doing dishes, so cooking in tin foil in the oven makes it a lot cleaner and less work on yourself. Check that out, guys. That's looking absolutely delicious. All cooked now. I'm just going to plate it up. I'm going to munch this bad boy. Oh yeah, really been looking forward to these. They look absolutely amazing. You know they're cooked well, and you can just grab the tail and the meat will just fall off the bone. Just like that, makes for easy picking. There you go, there's the backbone. There is a few bones in mackerel, but you can, uh, you can pick them out pretty easily. But the top sort of loin of the uh, mackerel, there's no bones, so you can take a big old chunk. Mm. It's the first mackerel I've eaten all year, I think. Well, so far this year, shall I say. Mackerel is so good for you as well. It's full of omega-3 oils. Mm. It tastes absolutely delicious. You cannot beat mackerel. And like I said before, on the barbie, these are a great barbecued fish, or smoked. That's something I'm going to be trying this year. I'm going to be smoking a bit of fish, see how that turns out. Mm. Oh, lovely. It's not really, it's a, it's a little bit of a fishy fish, but, um, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as some fish are like, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's nice with that smoked paprika because so you get that that real smoky flavor and then you got the chili flakes on there that give it a little bit of spice as well just adds to it so much mm. really enjoyable trip with my dad as well it's always nice to go out rod fishing there's not a huge amount of mackerel around at the moment and pollock but um in the coming months they will start showing up and we we'll start filling up the boat a little bit more because obviously during the mackerel season we try to fill up the freezers and then what that does is save us a lot of money down through the year for bait mm. and that's the idea of it really it's just saving money but only taking what we really need you know so i'll leave the video there guys if you want any merch that I'm not wearing, the link's in the description. If you want to become a member, the link's in the description as well. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. It's my fishing, baby. Woo!